My next guest, well, people throw the term superstar around a lot, but it's the perfect way to describe my next guest. From performing at a state fair at age two, to starring in two major television shows, to winning the Tony for Best Featured Actor oh, in a musical. My guest is always serving trailblazing talent. Please welcome to the stage, the iconic Alice Newell. <laughs> met before very briefly um, at the Vice President's Pride Party. Yes! I don't like to say that. Name drop. <laughs> but I've more been dying to talk to you because as I told you that day, I'm a really big fan. Okay, I just want to get into it. Shut. Yes. I saw it two weeks ago and I was blown away. It's not only fun, but it's funny and like idealistic in the best way. And I feel like what art's supposed to do is like presenting a version of reality that we should aspire to. And knowing that, it's all about corn. Um, you play the role of Lulu, who is this independent, strong woman who owns her own whiskey business that's independently owned. I'm sure you get that pun a lot. Every day. Every day. Are you ready to have them the rest of your life? I can't wait. <laughs> I'm so excited. So actors, I know, bring their own experiences to the role, but what has playing a character like Lulu taught you? You know, what independence is, I think we all want to obtain our own independence and be happy in it, but being independent creates a callus over your heart sometimes, you're closed off, and you have this wall that you don't think that you need anybody, and I think doing this journey of Lulu Bay Chills Week of like, knowing that it's okay to be independent, but also have someone in your life as well as of things that I've been learning, because I have that wall up sometimes. I mean, eight shows a week, I do one show maybe every month, and I'm out for a week. That for you. <laughs> <laughs> but also, Lulu, I mean, the one-liners, I mean, my favorite, like, I don't want to say, I want to say red, okay, but I remember what, it was done. These eyebrows aren't my children, but I'm about to raise them. It is so good! Do you start, are you using them at all like in your everyday life? Never, because I have a summer mother. I have so many others. So, as I mentioned, your signature song is independently owned, and Literally, when I was there, I thought the, the, the house was going to come down. Like, the war of applause, the way I'm describing it is physical joy. Like, women, children, gays, everyone jumping out of their seats. The, 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 the reaction was so amazing and so extreme. What's it like receiving that joy from people? It's a lot of wind coming at you at <laughs> one moment. It's like, no, I physically, like, I feel cheers, like all of the breath coming at me. It doesn't smell, I'm kidding. Um, but it's wonderful, you know, people that resonate with that song and with you know, you pour yourself into your art, and I've poured myself into my craft my entire life, and to be happy to be received is brilliant. And, I mean, we love it when it's received by the fans, but we kind of like it more when it's received by, you know, our peers and award shows, because... Absolutely. You know, you, you were on What's on Silent, you, you've been Broadway before, but... Yes, Rob. But it was, it was your dream. <laughs> <laughs> it was your dream to win a Tony Award. It was. Which you did. I it the last time for a musical about corn, but I'm not knocking the corn. I'm not knocking the corn. Did, did, did you almost like explode when you got that, when you finally reached that moment? Yes, because when it was hot as shit in that room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, I had to say it in my speech because they turned the air off because it was interfering with the sound. And I said, I can't hear anything, so it doesn't really matter. Well, speaking of your speech, I, I know you just have to let me show, but I have to throw in this clip because it's so amazing. And to anyone that thinks that they can't do it, I'm going to look you dead in your face that you can do anything you put your mind to. Amazing. What? Now that it's been a few months, what has the calm down been? Like, what, what, what's the process? There isn't one. I'm still doing eight shows a week. <laughs> <laughs> they don't give you a vacation once you win the award. It's just like, here, keep doing it. Take your shiny statue, put it up somewhere, and be happy. But it's lovely. I, it's it's so surreal. Like, I really didn't think that I was going to win a Tony, especially this year or this musical, or, or in this lifetime, really. I, you know, we say robbed. I joke about being robbed for once in a silent, but... <laughs> 
it was more so of like, I really believe and I really always wanted to play that role and I knew that I was the real kid in it and I was oh, yeah. myself. Yes. I thought it was going to be bad. Listen, the bitch was stunning. Stunning, stunning. She was so sick. Like, my God. My God. How I was sitting in that dress, of course, I'll never know, but. That's certainly worthy of an award. I mean, truly, it did. Um, 